So or it's part or fraction. I guess most of you know how to solve it in high school. So this is just a revision. So this thing, I want to find these two question marks. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put an unknown number A and an unknown number B on top. So that means I'm going to find unknown number A and unknown number B. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply the whole thing by the expression here. So if this term is multiplied by this expression, it gives me one. But for this thing, if I multiply with this expression, 1 minus x and then also 1 minus 2x. You see, 1 minus x and 1 minus x cancel out. So I only have this guy left. That is 1 minus 2x times a. 1 minus 2x times a. That's why I have this one. And if I multiply the whole thing to this side, I will have 1 minus x and then 1 minus 2x. And you see, this guy and this guy are the same. So I can cancel them. So I get b times 1 minus x. Okay? So I will have this term. So here's the important thing. This is equivalent equations. That means... I can put any x in here, I will have this is true. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the x such that one of the bracket disappear, then I will get the other one. So for example, if I put x is 1, I will have 0 here. Then if I put a 1 here, it will be 1 minus 2, that's negative 1, so a is negative 1. So if I put x equal 1, give me a is negative 1. So once I know a is negative 1, what I can do? Well, I just put this x as half, this term will disappear, it will give me b. So if I put x is half, this term is 0. So here I will have 1 minus half, give me half. So that means if I put it half here, this is b over 2. b over 2 equal to 1. So that means if I multiply 2 here, then I will get this and b give me 2. Okay, so that's how you do it. Now here's a second example. Suppose I have this expression, I want to do partial fraction. So the first thing I need to do is to factorize this into an expression like this. So this is basically breaking this quadratic equation into two brackets. Okay, I assume you know how to do this. Okay, so I'm not wasting time on doing that. Then I want to split this partial fraction. So I have x minus 5 and x plus 3 over a and b. Again, I'm multiplying the whole expression here to the bold equation. So here, the denominator disappear. Here, I have this. Now, what I'm going to do, I will put x equal 5. This here disappear. I will have some number here. I will have some number here. It gives me a equal to 4. And if I put x equal to negative 3, this term is not 0, this term is up here, so I solve for the b, it gives me b13, so I get this. Lastly, another example, so suppose I have an expression that looks like this, so in this case, the partial expression looks like this, okay, it will be the term here, and then also the term squared, and then I want to find the a and b, here I give you is 10 and negative 5, okay, so how do I do it, so first I write this as a divided by this and b divided by this, Okay, then I multiply the whole thing by x plus 4 squared, then this side gives me 10x plus 35. This side gives me what? This is a square divided by x plus 4, I have 1 left. This part, it will be x plus 4 squared divided by x plus 4 squared, so gone, I have this thing. So that means if I put x is negative 4, it will give me b. And then I put x is 0 with the b, then I will get a. Okay, so this is the way you can solve it. So for the purpose of this course, we are not going to deal with very complicated partial fraction, but this becomes very useful later.